Have you guys ever been to a dinosaur exhibit? Yeah! In a little while, you're going to come up with a plan to convince your parents to take you to a dinosaur exhibit, but you have to figure out how much it's going to cost for your whole family to go. So now, I'm going to show you my problem. This summer, the dinosaur exhibit is coming to a museum near you. Tickets to the museum can be expensive, so you have decided to be proactive. That means to make a plan, and you've offered to help your family figure out how much money you will need to go see this awesome exhibit. So right here, this is a table, and it tells us the cost of everyone that you might want to take. So this says children zero to two. What do you think that means, zero to two? For zero to two means that that age um, cost one dollar. So how can you be zero? Because that's why you're barely born. Oh, you're barely born, so you haven't had a birthday yet. So yeah. you are zero. 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 zero so zero and two, what else age might go there? Oh, oh, oh. One. Maybe one. Okay, and how much are they going to cost? One dollar. And then we have children 3 to 10 will be how much? Two. Children 11 to 18 will be what? Five. Five what? $5. And then adults will be? Ten. So now we want to know how much it would cost for your family to visit the museum. And we're going to have to think about how we're going to solve this problem. So there's three things we need to keep in mind. So we are going to do a KFA chart. So the K part is, what do I know about this problem? Let's think about that. We know it's going to cost money, right? Who's going to cost $10? Uh, uh, your parents. Your parents, you're not going to cost $10? Uh, okay, so let's, let's talk about that. Children, zero, what's the other age in between two? Two. Zero, one. And two, how much are they going to cost? One dollar. One dollar. So now we have children zero, one, and two is going to be one dollar for them to go. What else do we know? Children three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten will cost two dollars. Two dollars. And somebody made the comment that pretty much everybody in this room is probably going to cost two dollars. Yeah. You know what he thought? He made an estimate. He said about everybody in this room is in between these ages, yes. and they're going to be two dollars. What else do we know? We know children this age are going to be a dollar. Children this age are going to be two dollars. What do you else do you know about this? Children eleven. Uh -huh. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 are, are $5. Okay, so they're $5. Do you think anyone in this room will cost $5? No. What else do we know? No. $10. So how old do you have to be to be an adult? 20. Like, uh, yeah, 20. No, 10. 20. 20. Uh, Okay, let's stop and think about that. How old do you think you have to be to be an adult? 40. 40? Definitely 40. But what is 80. the... 80 would be an adult. Let's look at this chart and see, where does it stop? With what age? 18. Wait, I got it. 18. So what's the youngest adult <gasps> that you could have? Aiden. 19. 19. So if you were looking at the hundreds chart, it would be 19 all the way to what? 100. Pretty much, right? So it would be 19. I don't want to write all those numbers, but 19, 20, 21, all the way to 30, 31, all the way to 40, right? If I'm 77, am I an adult? Yeah. How much would I cost to go to the museum? 10. 10 what? $10. 10 so this is what we know about the problem. What do we want to find out? What do we need to figure out? 
how much it costs for our family to go to the dinosaur museum. Our whole family that lives in our house, right? So we want to know how much. And are we paying in pennies? What are we going to pay in? Dollars. So the unit we are using is dollars. And this is the symbol for dollars. Now let's think about what we know about our answer. So let's go back to when we were estimating. Do you think that it would cost a thousand dollars for my family to go? No. When we estimate, we think about how much is it going to be? Yeah. It may be 40. That's a smart guess, 40. But do you think it could be one dollar? Would it only cost one dollar? No. Because there is no family that just has a baby or a one-year-old or a two-year-old. <laughs> because there's not a one-year-old, a two-year-old, or a baby that could live by themselves. So we know that it couldn't be a dollar, okay? It could not be one dollar. You said it could not be a thousand dollars? No, it can't. It can't. 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 If you took like your whole, everybody's family in here maybe, but I'll whose family are you here. taking? You are. Your own family, okay, so could it be? A thousand dollars. It could be about what? Forty dollars. Because she's thinking, I have two adults. That's okay. I'm thinking about my family. It could forty dollars is a smart guess. Twenty-four would be a smart guess. Could it only be? Could it only be two dollars? No. No. Children can go by themselves. Exactly. So it could not be one dollar, and it could not be two dollars. So if you are ready to do the math to figure this out, give me a thumb up.